What's up guys, it's Lefty here with the plays of the day for Wednesday, June 16th. Notice I said plays as in plural. We have two games today and the reason for that is simple. Uh, both are very similar and I just couldn't pick one. Uh, the first one we're looking at, Marlins Cardinals 115 day game. It is a getaway day game. Uh, Miami's Sandy Alcantara versus St. Louis's Johan Oviedo. Uh, the next one up is a night game, 7-10 start. Orioles, Indians, you got Regan or Keegan Aiken versus Aaron Savelli. Uh, going under eight in both these games, and the reasons why are basically the same for both games. Um, I want to get this video uploaded quickly because we have an early start with the Marlins cards, plus I expect that Orioles-Indians line to eventually move off of eight to seven and a half, so... I'm going to break these games down together. Uh, if we look, St. Louis and Baltimore, they both can't hit righties. They're awful. They're at the bottom of the league in all weighted run uh, production categories. Uh, and this is ranked by run creation. And as you can see, cards rank 28th. The O's rank dead last versus right-handed pitching, which they both face righties today. Um if we look for Miami and Cleveland, they just can't hit either. Uh, this is the overall year-to-date batting numbers. Both are ranked near the bottom in the key run creation metrics. Uh, remember, the two main advanced metrics I refer to, just so we're clear, WRAA, weighted runs above average. This measures a team's run contribution compared to the league average, so zero is considered the average. Uh, the next one, WRC+, plus, or Weighted Runs Created+. Plus. This takes the Runs Created metric, but adjusts the number to account for different variables like ballpark or pitcher's ability. That way numbers aren't skewed for hitters or, you know, who happen to maybe face like awful pitchers or uh, play a lot of their games in hitter-friendly ballparks. Uh, this will give you an accurate measure of a team's ability to manufacture runs. Um, and Cleveland's numbers are actually worse um, against lefties, which uh, they happen to face a lefty today in the kid Keegan Aiken. Um, now the weather, we have it helping uh, a little bit, nothing too crazy. And again, I'd like to go into more detail about the pitching matchup, especially about Indian starter Savelli and his fielding independent numbers, or FIP. Uh, I'm expecting some positive regression based on his advanced metrics. Uh, but in sports betting, it's so time-sensitive. Uh, because it's really all about getting the best of the number, and it's so important. Uh, and we're always going to be against the clock because, you know, I can guarantee you more times than not, we're going to be on the sharp side. Uh, I mean, even look, uh, we've done, what, maybe 75, 80-something games for these play of the day games, and I don't think there's been a time where a better number was available later in the day or the lines moved against us. Uh, and that doesn't happen by coincidence. It happens because, you know... You dig deep, you put in the time and effort, you'll discover edges, and everyone else that's putting in that same work and effort will find those same edges, and eventually the market starts to move. Uh, but let's wrap this one up now. We're going under in both Miami-St. Louis game uh, and Orioles-Indians. I even got a little crazy today and parlayed them. Um, that's going to be up to you if you want to do that. Uh, it's not on the official record, but... Uh, you know, make sure to check out the market report video I uh, did earlier this morning and posted. Um, I discussed some of these games in there as well. And also, um, I made uh, a bet on the over in the uh, Padres-Rockies game. And that almost ended up being the third game in this video because, uh, you know, I'm going for a little revenge there from um, last night's loss. Uh, but that's it for now. Hope you guys crush it today. And as always, may all the umps calls go your way.